Hey folks, it's Billy D.K.Y., the truth seeker who simplifies and demystifies. This is going to be hypothetical fights under new MMA scoring system. If you haven't done so, you need to watch the other video first, which is new MMA scoring system pre preliminary. I'll put a link up because this is not going to mean anything to you. It's going to confuse the heck out of you, so watch that video first if you haven't done so. Okay. So basically, I did the video yesterday. I've been having thoughts, con you know, uh, talking with other people. Plus, just I don't know. It's just all been mulling over my mind as I've been walking around, thinking through the day. And I was thinking how amazing the new system is going to be, man. Just by looking at the score without even seeing the fight. If you just look, let's say your your douchebag boss is making you work on fight night, and you you and you look on the line and you see the score, and that's all you see. Under the new scoring system, you're going to be able to tell what sort of happened. You ain't going to know the specific details, but you'll have the high picture overview without actually having to see it. And let me just give you a few examples of a couple of hypothetical fights. So you're, you're at work, man. You, 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 you don't want to watch the play-by-play. -play. You just, after it's over, though, you look and you see this scoring right here. Okay, let me get my fingers out. Okay, so you see this fighter. So we got fighter one, that's their score. Fighter... Two, that's their score. We got the rounds, rounds here, round one, two, three, and in total. So you get online and you look this up and you say, "Oh my God, look at that man! The dude, the dude come close to stopping him. He he must have stopped him or come close to submitting him or stopping him. Then this dude must have almost finished him twice, big time. Then you know they slowed down a little bit. They blew their wad." And then eventually this guy, you know, looked like he almost stopped him again twice. And this guy, you know, he might have done something small, but not much. And this dude winds up being, um, doing real good with 18. Just barely inks out a decision. You know that's an amazing scrap. Everybody's fighting. Everybody's wanting to finish each other. So, uh, just by looking at the score alone, the total score even, you could tell, like, you're like, wow, man, those dudes were really trying to stop each other. Now, that would be an exceptional fight, and you wouldn't see that very often, so... That's that's really a rarity. But if you've seen that kind of score, you'd be like, man, I don't care who was fighting. I want to see that scrap. Okay. So let's take another look at another fight. Now this is probably more realistic than what you'd really see on a normal fight night, you know, that went to a decision. Okay, so basically, in round one, fighter two was dominant. You know, he did, a, he did a little bit, might have took him down, tried a couple submissions, but the other guy sort of got out. Might have been in danger a few times, but not really too bad. This guy couldn't do nothing, get anything going. He was sort of dominated. Uh, this round, the guy slowed down a little bit, blew a little bit, he's wide. And over here, the guy, he, he stepped it up a little bit after talking to his corner. But really, he just in the round three, he really didn't have enough manhood to do anything. He couldn't get anything done. This guy... Finish strong because he's a braver man. Score five. Score here one. This guy obviously won. You sort of get the gist of how that fight went just by looking at the scoring. Okay. This is sort of hypothetical because I didn't actually see this fight. Uh, let's ima just imagine what this would be like if you've seen this. If you've seen the scoring. This dude here didn't get anything going at all. He could, well, Wait a second. Let me back up. I did it wrong. Look at this dude. In minus 21, he didn't come to fight. This dude was running the whole time, doing everything he could not to fight. You don't know if he was running or just whatever, but he was doing something not to fight big time. And over here, this guy couldn't get anything going because all this dude was doing is running or, or, or wrestling not to fight or something like that. You know, he was doing everything he could to avoid fighting. And so basically, this to me reminds me of what I... I didn't actually see the fight, so I'm sort of speculating. Uh... Anderson Silva versus Talos Latus, because I think Talos Latus did not come to fight at all, so this would be what Talos Latus did, a minus 21, and Anderson Silva really couldn't get anything going, so, you know, that, obviously Anderson won, but it's still, if you've seen that, you wouldn't even want to see that scrap, you'd be like, man, I don't even want to see that fight, dude, look at this, this guy didn't do anything, he didn't come to fight, this guy may have come to fight, but he couldn't get anything done, because this guy was playing, you know, possum, or running, or you know, it's sort of like that Anderson, not Anderson Silva, but uh, Houston Alexander, uh, Kimbo Slice. You know, Houston's running the whole time. It's, you know, running a little bit to set something up's fine, but, you know, there's a point where it's obvious you ain't running to set anything up. You just running to run. 
and this would be this would be an ex this is just a sort of an ordinary fight that you might have, I've seen stuff like this before. Okay, so let me get rid of the back stuff he's showing through. Okay, so in this fight, basically, this guy had some good boxing come out, did some three few things. He got he and this guy couldn't get anything started. He couldn't get anything started in the second round. This guy slowed down a little bit, and then he, this round he didn't really get anything going. And right at the bell, man, he slipped into a submission. He finally wore this guy out, slipped into a submission. The bell saves him. I have to give him five points, man. He almost stopped the fight. If he'd had five more seconds, or even two seconds, the dude would attack. You got to give him respect for that. That he, he he did that, so he actually wins the fight in the last few seconds of the round because he slipped the guy into submission. See, so I mean, maybe some of you may not agree with that, but when a guy like how many times have we seen a guy slip him into a submission, boom, he would have had him if it had been. If he'd had five more seconds, he would have finished the fight. You gotta give some points to that, cause it, like I said, the dude had. If it had been a real fight, there wouldn't have been no bell, and it'd been over. Okay, maybe you don't agree with that, but nonetheless, I, I, I still like that. I still like it boiling down to the scoring's based upon finishing. Everybody needs the right incentives to do the right thing. You're coming in as a fighter. You should be rewarded for fighting and trying to finish a fight. I don't really care what your style is. If your style is defensive, aggressive, whatever. But it, need, it you can be aggressive and still not finish, which, you know, Amir Sadala showed that in the last one. He was overly aggressive, smothered himself out, and couldn't finish the fight where if he'd, uh, you know, use these things and use these aggression a little more wisely, he could have finished it. So it's all about finishing. If your style is completely defensive, then you don't deserve no points because, you know, you should be sitting in the crowd with me because I'm my, my style is completely defensive. I don't even get in the ring. So <laughs> that's sort of funny. Everybody needs the incentive to do the right thing. And I don't mean just the fighters. The judges need the right incentives. The the referees need the right incentives. These judges and referees should be rated as well. And you, it should be an honor to get to judge and referee in these top fights. So, and I don't know exactly how we would judge them, you know, and rate them, but maybe be fan base or something. There would have to be some kind of system set up that where your ranking as a referee and as judge goes up and down based upon how you're doing, you know. And so, basically, you get the best refs and the best fights, and, you know, you can say, well, somebody, well, I don't like Mazagati. Well, if he's got the best rating, then who cares what your personal opinion of the dude is, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, basically, that's the way I see it. It's, it's really, really the system needs to be changed. The incentives, that's all that really needs to be changed. Incentives need to be changed, and you need to encourage, you need to give disincentives for bad behavior. You know, and some people say, well, we need more educated judges. Well, guess what? If you give the right incentives, that's what's exactly what you're going to get. The system will take care of that, because people who can't judge, they'll get rated lowly, and they'll keep being pushed down to where they're only able to do little minor local things where... You know, somebody starts doing a really good job, it's going to promote them up, not based upon what Dana White or the Athletic Commission thinks, but, but based on their ratings. And like I said, I'm not for sure how we would rate them. I don't know if it'd be fan based or maybe it'd be some kind of system. I, I really haven't figured that out, but I wanted to throw those out just to, just to, I wanted to point out how amazing it'd be just to be able to look at the scoring and tell. I mean, you wouldn't be able to tell exactly what happened, but you'd have a pretty good idea. You'd be like, yeah, okay, I want to see it or not, nah, I don't want to see it. That's about what I expected to happen. Run from Anderson Silva, we don't want to engage him, he's a coward. Or, you know, it's, it's his game plan, whatever you want to say. Or, like I say, back to this one. You know that's amazing scrap, man. The guys were going at it. Sort of like somebody brought it, Forrest Griffin in, uh, gosh, the first, the first uh, ultimate fighting fight. I mean, those dudes, Forrest Griffin and Stephen Bonner, they were going at it left and right. I mean, that's a 5-5 five, five round every round. So you go online, you look at it, and you didn't get to see it, and you're like, 5-5-5, five, five, five. man, those dudes were, must have been just scrapping. I want to see it. So that's the whole point. The, the, the plus two, when you're watching on TV, you know, you can see, um, anyway, that's enough of that. We're about to run out of time. Anyway, folks, if you wouldn't mind, please rate the video. And uh, I don't know, man, if everybody does their little piece, to educate other people, we can eventually get this thing changed. It's just a matter of uh, getting enough pressure to put on them to get stuff changed because everybody's looking for a new system, man. Anyway, later, folks.